you might be astounded to know that on the September the 7th, and forgetting about Western Australia because they're going to come again, 3,231,702 otherwise eligible electors did not cast a vote to convert it into the count. That's 22% of the roll did not vote effectively. Who are they? The 1.4 million who are not on the roll. You know, they're supposed to be on the roll, but they're not on the roll. Given they're young people or Half of them are young, half of them are mobile people. And then there's another group, I didn't bring all the figures, who were on the roll but didn't turn out. Then there are 800,000 who were on the roll, turned out and voted informally. Now, we haven't got the figures yet. The AEC always analyses the informal ballot papers to tell us what, why, why were they informal. Were they blank? which is generally taken to mean that it was a deliberate informal vote, though some argue about that. Most of them, it's misnumbering. See, we have a quite complicated, in the House of Representatives, ballot paper. Now, countries like the US, um, Britain, Canada, all you've got to do is put one, a tick or a cross, and you cast a valid vote. Whereas if you lived in Melbourne, the seat of Melbourne, there were 16 candidates on the ballot paper, you had to correctly number at least 15 of them to get a valid vote. So there's 3.2 million who did not cast a valid vote at the last election. 